So you're interested in playing a cat build on Ascension, but you don't know which talents, enchants, or skill cards to take. It can be overwhelming with the sheer amount of options you have to choose from, but in this video I will be breaking down all the different build path options available to you on the Ascension server for cat builds. Hey everyone, Shikari Dill here, back with another video guide for Ascension. If you enjoy this video and would like to see more Ascension content from me, then I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like and sub button. If you'd like to further support a smaller Ascension content creator like myself, then feel free to use the Super Chats function or visit my coffee page where two or three bucks would go a long way and support my channel a whole lot. Without further ado, let's jump right into the guide. So right off the bat as an overview, let's take a look at the legendary options you have available for cat builds. These legendary enchants have varied gameplay styles and complexity and will overall determine what type of cat build you're looking to go for. Keep in mind taking an exotic pet is a valid option for cat builds but totally optional. For each section I will add additional options you can take if you opt in for taking an exotic pet. So your legendary enchant options are going to be Predator's Wrath, Razor Claws, and Lucifer. Now Predator's Wrath is an interesting playstyle, as what it does is your full combo spenders like Ferocious Bite and Rip will allow you to cast Wrath while in cat form. These Wraths will restore energy and give you a slight nature buff. This enchant, in my opinion, is probably the strongest of the three. The main reason being is you can use Mangle as your main filler ability and basically just spam it all the time, which is a much better filler ability than Claw, which is required for the other two enchants. I think this is one of the more involved cat form builds, especially if you opt into taking a pet, because you'll need to manage your dots, your pet buffs, and make sure you cast Wrath after every combo point finisher. So if you're into tracking multiple buffs and dots, this might be the playstyle for you. Next up we have Razor Claws, which is a very popular choice on Ascension and is decent in its own right. I think this is the go-to legendary enchant to pick up if you decide to play with a pet, as spamming your claw ability will basically extend the duration of your dots, allowing you to focus more on keeping your pet buffs up. I do think Razor Claws overall does less damage than Predator's Wrath, mainly because you're restricted to using Claw as your main filler ability. And even with the additional 20% attack power gain on Claw, it's way weaker than just spamming Mangle or Shred. But overall, it's a decent enough playstyle, and it puts more emphasis on being able to focus on your pet micromanaging rather than your dots. Your third legendary enchant option is a bit of a weird one, and if I'm being honest, I haven't really played around with it too much as it really isn't my playstyle. Lucifer is a wacky hybrid enchant that revolves around using an augmented version of Ferocious Bite called Charred Bite that applies a fire dot on the target and gives your Scorch ability a buff. You'll then want to pop out of cat form so you can cast Scorch on your target, which then gives a buff to your Claw and Shred abilities that also return mana. Again, I haven't played around with this enchant as much as the other two, so I can't really confirm whether it's as strong or even stronger as the other two available options. But it's a very unique enchant that I suspect a lot of people who are looking for a more unique and out there playstyle will really enjoy and have fun with. So if you have any fun experiences with this enchant, I want to hear from you. Let me know in the comment section down below. This is fine, killing spree, okay, okay. All right, so we're gonna just spam Mangle, which generates some combo points. All right, everything's good. Okay, he bubbles, run away. Just run away. Ouch. Okay, come on, come on. All right, okay, okay, here we go. We're just gonna put some full combo point finishers. All right, here we go. All right, come on, come on, finish him up. Come on, come on, pet. come on. Oh, not even close. For epic enchants, it will come down to which of the three builds you intend to play and what abilities you end up rolling from leveling or hands of fate. For example, if you have killing spree, the epic enchant down for the count could be a nice boost to that ability. Killing spree will take you out of cat form, but it's really easy to just quickly pop right back in. Counterpoise is also a fairly popular and decent choice for most melee builds as it gives you either melee haste or critical strike. 
Primal Frenzy is also a decent enchant as it gives your Rake and Rip Ticks a chance to give you a 5% physical damage buff and reduce the cost of your cat form abilities. If you are interested in rolling Lucifer as your build, then the epic enchant Scorched Earth might be a decent choice for you as it allows you to cast Scorch on the move, keeping you mobile. As mentioned earlier, you do get a slight advantage when opting in for an exotic pet in the form of Frenzied Swipe. Cat builds do tend to be on the lower side when it comes to AoE DPS on Ascension, but what Frenzied Strike will do is give your pet an AoE cleave for 8 seconds. If you stack that with the enchant on the hunt, which makes your men pet give a 15% increased damage buff, then that can improve your overall AoE DPS. If you've taken the Feral ability Berserk, then you can take Group Think, an epic enchant which will give your pet a 20% damage buff for the duration. And yes, this can be stacked with Bestial Wrath as well. So as you can see, the stacking damage buffs for your pet can really add up. For non-epic enchants, Precision is always a good one to pick up unless you're already hit capped. I would also recommend picking up Predatory Instincts. While in cat form, this will increase your melee crit strike damage. Again, cat damage AoE DPS can be a bit lower, so stacking an enchant like Feral Instinct can increase the damage of our swipe by up to 24%. If you want a faster, more spammy playstyle, the Enchant's Vitality and Vigor can help speed up your rotation. If you opt in for a pet, then taking Unleashed Fury is a pretty good option as well. Just gonna casually charge in here, destroy him. There's nothing more satisfying than get a full hunger for blood on, on all your dots. It's just so fun. Just gonna get over here. Let's see if we can't get this guy down. Finish him off. There we go. This build is just so much fun. I, I just really enjoyed it in PvP. At level 1, you're going to want to take Charge and Tame Beast if you are going the pet route. Also, as a side note for newer players who might not know this, but usually when you start at level 1, you roll for 4 abilities. Now, you start off with something called a Spell Draft deck. This allows you to reset all 4 abilities if you don't like your selection. But there's an item called the Dealer's Draft Deck that allows you to just re-roll your last ability picked instead of resetting all four of them. This item ensures that every ability you pick is guaranteed at level 1, so you can pick this up on the auction house or the donation store, but it really will help you with your build starting out. For skill cards, I would obviously take cat form, you just don't want to risk the RMG of never rolling for it, so just take the skill card just to be safe. Tiger's Fury, Rockbiter Weapon, Hunger for Blood, and Maim are all great options for skill cards. Hunger for Blood is a cool ability unique to Ascension. Basically, you load your target up with bleeds, pop this ability, and it gives you move speed and a damage buff per bleed on your target. If you're going for a pet, you're gonna want to grab the Beast Mastery skill card, because a normal pet just ain't gonna cut it. Intimidation, Mend Pet, and Kill Command are also great options for skill cards if you choose to go with a pet. And yes, you can use all these abilities while in cat form. Legendary abilities you'll want to take for the pet route are Berserk and Bestial Wrath. If you're not going with a pet, then you can really grab any legendary ability you want because it's really just a playstyle preference type thing. A lot of legendary abilities are just utility, so just pick whatever you like. Obviously, you're going to want to grab all the cat form abilities you can, but make sure you especially grab Swipe as that is really our only form of AoE DPS. And lastly, you can take Prowl if you'd like, however Stealth on Ascension is kind of not great unless you put points into Master of Deception and Camouflage. And to be honest, a Feral Opener isn't nearly as great as, say, a Rogue, so it's really up to you on whether or not you think it's worth investing into. Hey, you're not supposed to you're not supposed to get me out of stealth. This is for show. This isn't an actual duel. Oh my gosh. But look how easy it was to get you out of stealth. Duh. Oh my gosh. True. Can't deny it. And lastly, I want to talk about a few important talents that you might want to pick up. Now, one of the disadvantages of taking a pet is you're going to need to invest some points into them if you want them to be effective. Pets right now are a bit weak in terms of DPS unless you gear your build towards them. This is why I highly recommend putting points into Kindred Spirits and Unleashed Fury. These talents comboed with enchants and abilities mentioned earlier will have your pets hitting pretty hard. If you don't have a pet, then you can save these talent points for other things in the talent trees you might want. If you're running Predator's Wrath, Earth and Moon is a great talent as it makes your wraths increase the magic damage your target takes as well as reducing their healing taken. This is a pretty solid talent choice for PvP. And again, if you want crazy amounts of energy, putting points into Vitality and Vigor will speed up your rotation. 
and it also stacks with the enchants mentioned earlier. Honor Among Thieves is another option you can take that will help you generate combo points quicker. This can also help speed up your rotation a bit. Generally, you're just going to want to grab a lot of the important Feral Talent Tree stuff. These talents can look a bit different depending on what suits the build you are going for. I'll leave a link to my full build down below as an example if you'd like to see what my setup is. So as you can see, there are a lot of different ways you can build and play a cat build on the Ascension server. And hopefully this video served as a guide to help you better understand all the different options available to you when creating a cat build. So thanks so much for watching this video. I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like and sub button. I put a lot of effort into this video. And stay tuned to my channel where I'll be coming out with some more Ascension content. Thanks so much, and I'll see you all in the next video.